Hey, this is Jason Curley at jasoncurley.com and I'm going to give you a little tutorial on ProPresenter 4 on how to create an announcement slideshow prior to maybe one of your Sunday morning services. So you'd like to have some announcements running and what we're going to do is real simple. Uh, first step is make sure, I'm going to assume you already maybe have created a little folder with some announcements uh, that are running in there. Uh, the way I did it is down here in the video image bin that is kind of at the bottom of your ProPresenter. I created a little folder. I did that by selecting that folder button right down at the bottom. I maybe titled it Pictures. And then in that folder, I created a little sheet that says Announcements. So I already did that, and I've already dropped a few announcements in there. Uh, but let's say you haven't done that yet. Uh, if you're in your Mac, what you would do then is click on your Finder, kind of get it in an area where you can still see that at the bottom. Uh, go to where your pictures are, where you store your uh, announcement slides, and then depending on if you have a bunch of them, you could add them all at one time, or you could add several at a time by holding down your command button on your Mac, selecting the ones that you want. I'm going to just drop three of them in there. And then you would just hold, drag, and drop them right into the bottom there. So that will get you several slides set up in an easy to use kind of folder. And then what we're going to do is come over to our library, create a new presentation and let's call this Sunday announcements make that simple and then I'm gonna right click I'm gonna create a category that or I'm gonna use maybe slides uh, you can have one set up for announcements uh, basically whatever you want and do that and then, of course, I'm going to go up here to this announcement slide uh, in my working area. I'm going to hit Edit first, and I'm going to delete. I'm going to click anywhere out here in the black. Then I'm going to press Delete to delete that. Okay, now that I've got that set up, then I'll come down here to my announcement slides. And let's say I want to add several of them at one time. Real simple to do. Uh, I'll hold down my Command button, and let's... When you see it blue, that means we can uh, move it to the top. So let's say I want that one, holding, I'm holding down my command, that one, this one, this one, and our Thanksgiving outreach. And let's say we want our logo kind of to be going at the same time. Okay, now that I've got all those selected, I'm just going to grab, oh, uh, you know what I did? I let go of my command button. So let's do that again, here, here, here here. Holding down my command, you can see it says I'm going to add four and I'm going to drop those. Let go, drop those up there. Uh, and then I want to just, uh, let's say I have this one right here at the top and I just want to just hold my command button and I can drop that one right on the top there. Now what we would do is we want these to kind of run at maybe five second intervals. So I come here and I go to go to next timer. Uh, I did that by right clicking and let's say five seconds. I right click on the next one, go to timer, five seconds, right click, go to next timer, five seconds, right click, go to next timer, five seconds, right click, go to next timer, five seconds. And then, oh, I could have done it at one time. At the very end, I want to put a loop to first slide. Now when I click that, every five seconds, uh, it will go to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, and then that will then kick it back to the end. And once I'm done, I'll go up to my file and save. And there is my announcement slides that will run on, say, um, as long as I want before a service on Sunday morning. Uh, thank you. Got more tutorials uh, that you can search for, and thank you.